Welcome to the Dominican Republic. Hi, welcome to the Dominican Republic. Hello there, Mr. Todd. I'm the old camera guy from the DR, yeah. Hi guys, welcome to the DR. Hello. Obviously, I'm the old camera guy. You're so old. I'm so old, I yes. I cameras. <laughs> because today is Monday, today is when we get water. Other days, the community need to go all of the way uh, to three blocks from here, or to some people that have cisterns uh, to be able to get uh, water. But in here, they're gonna get water every day mm -hmm. from eight o'clock all the way to 6 p.m. Operations in here. This is the uh, bottles. And these are the bottles that we uh, uh, sent to Haiti. Uh, what you guys, uh, uh, where, where, who's here from Ron's church? Uh, you guys contributed a lot, so we were able to send 138,000 of these bottles to Haiti right after the earthquake. Um, so a lot of people got together and uh, uh, help us send bottles. He had a mission, and that mission was the cross. That's the part that always blows my mind. Jesus knew exactly where he was going. He knew exactly what was going to happen to him, but he did it anyhow. same thing 
two different sources, and it's the same. It's the same message. You know, the leaders who said, "Hey, you know, maybe we should be getting together with the, with the prayer partners again." And so then last night, one of the last things that happened before I went to bed, Pope Karen said to me, "She says we should be getting together with our prayer partners." So there you go. So I think it's a good thing that we get together with our prayer partners today. And it's probably been a while since we maybe reconnected. Alvin Lau, manager of Youth Ministries at the Canadian Baptist Ontario, Quebec. You know, this is my first trip here, and it's been great seeing how we've been able to partner with CareForce International in this initiative. You know, our whole mandate with CBOQ Youth is to support churches as they help today's youth in following Jesus. And as you can tell by a lot of the footage and the pictures and the stories that you'll be hearing over the next few weeks, how they have been impacted, how they are taking their faith to the next step. And we are encouraged by the fact that for many of them, this will be a milestone in their faith journey. Uh, we are encouraged by the fact that you have group leaders who are willing to come alongside them and walk with them, helping them understand what they are seeing and how this all comes together and what God is calling them to do. This is the, uh, the school where the kids are. Hola, hola. How are you? Buenas tardes. We got a little bit of video of you guys, uh, and then this guy likes to take video. Hola. 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 Uh, this is Teofila, and Teofila is the director of the school. <laughs> Teofila has been there. Oh, like this one. And of course the kids are excited to be in the video. Yes. We're going to go in the back and see uh, what you guys have in the back, and then we got to go because we got to finish the school for you guys. Yeah. Vamos a ir atrás y vamos a ver lo que ustedes tienen, y después nos vamos a ir porque tenemos que terminar la escuela para ustedes. This is the backyard of the school, and uh, not just this is the backyard, they have the bathroom uh, right there, and then this is uh, a street behind them. So, this is the, uh, why is it urgent to, uh, to take them out of here? Uh, so we are really hoping that before September, we can get them out of here. There are uh, 60 kids in here, um, and so it's, it's very sad that they are in this position. Don Cristian, aquí me tienen dos preguntas para usted. ¿Cuáles son las preguntas? Venga a ver, esta jovencita. How, how are you? Are you? So es, es, son tres palabras. How is H O W. How are you? How are are you? And you should say everybody is todos. Welcome everybody. Bienvenidos todos. A ver, que yo soy. Every Bye. Everybody. Todos. Uh -huh. Good morning, everybody. Ah, that's good. Good morning, everybody. Uh -huh. Buenos días a todos. Good morning, everybody. Moreno, deje estar diciendo la vida de mí. Got that the right side up. <laughs> Hello. Hola. Uh, 
you disagree? Hi. Hi. Woo. Wait, grab one from there or over here? Over okay. there. Yeah, well, it doesn't really matter. You can have one over here. You just can have like the one. Hey guys. Hey guys. Oh, yeah. Hey guys. A lady who is chopping down the tree with a machete in the backyard says this is her house and she asked me to take a photo of it. I was taking a photo of it and now I'm taking a video of it. She asked me to take a photo of her house. Hey, uh, who, ha. I'm George from our park and uh, we can put one, uh, one car in there. It's gonna be, we're gonna have to put it anyway and then just get a half of that. Uh, Eddie, mira me, para que no corte ese, ese blog, mira, no lo haya, por favor. He's gonna measure it so he know uh, the, 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 the piece to, to cut. He's gonna use that one to know how much we gotta, we gotta. Yeah, it's been great so far. Thanks. Hi, my name is uh, Todd Saltesiak and I'm from Heart Lake Baptist Church. Uh, this is actually my third uh, trip down here to the DR, so I've had the privilege of uh, seeing a lot of old friends again, both uh, uh, people who have been on their second mission trip and um, people who are down here at uh, the Lighthouse School. And it's been great reconnecting. Um, it's been great uh, being the uh, spiritual director for the week and uh, being able to have uh, uh, that whole dynamic of being able to um, listen to the kids and listen to their stories about how uh, God is impacting them. Uh, it's been my privilege to serve you and um, love you all. God bless. Obviously this building isn't finished yet and the way up is the way Rod is coming down. And I don't think I'm going up. <laughs> They're getting the third floor ready for more concrete and putting the rebar all in place so they can pour the concrete for the walls. Hola. 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 Look at the world around you, right here on the ocean floor. Your father's going to be having you build a whole new cottage the rate you're going. He's already lined her up for some summer work now that she learned how to work down here. Hi, my name is Carla Lewis and I'm with a school called Meadow Green Academy. And the impact in my life that this mission trip has done for me is that it made me feel a bit more um, like open to what's happening around the world and it made me want to not only think about myself but the needs of others and that is what impacted me the most and I think that this mission trip will help me realize that it's not all about us but it's about other people because there are people in this world who basically have nothing and we take everything for granted so Next week, I would like to be an example of 
sharing um, God's love to everyone I know and not being so selfish all the time, but thinking about others. Hi, I'm Logan Bolzma from uh, First Baptist Church of Smith Falls. Uh, this has changed my life. Uh, I, I can feel that it's changed my life, but I'm not quite sure how yet. Uh, I guess I'll just find out when I get home. Glass of water. The water boy. Giving, giving a cup of water in Jesus' name, that's, you can't get better than that. I'm the water boy, what can I say? <laughs> I'm from First Baptist Church, Smith Falls. I'm Bradley O'Grady, and I'm uh, impacted by this trip. It's uh, amazing how excited everyone is about uh, the school here, and uh, I'm just glad that I can help out and that um, everyone's excited about it. Baptist Church, Smith Falls, and on this mission trip, I realized what it really means to be Jesus' hands and feet. You can, you have to be very, very careful with lizards. He's so cute. Look at him. Look at My name is Katie Hewitt, and I'm from Meadow Green Academy, and we're here um, with the school to join uh, CBOQ in the building of the school. And um, I've just been so inspired by this trip, not only by uh, what Christian's doing in the, the whole organization, um, but also by the students and how they've come together as a community and just have really um, stepped up to the plate. And uh, it's just been amazing to see God work through them and to see God work through me and just that we are the hands and feet of Christ and just see um, the good things that he's doing here and through the people who have came to here. I just thank God so much for the opportunity for this trip and I look forward to going back and planting the seed in um, other people's lives and keeping it live with water and sun and I just uh, praise God for what's going on here. Hello everyone, I'm Katie Schooler. I'm from Smith Falls First Baptist Church. This experience has changed my life in a couple of ways. Um, actually, primarily, um, you know, you can see God's love like flowing and, um, and growing and people are just totally coming together with this trip. And uh, the other thing is I want a desk job. <laughs> Oh, okay, Jeremy, give it to me. I have nothing to say yet. Nothing's happening. Don't do that to me, Ron. <laughs> My name is Jillian Bradford and I go to the Smith Falls First Baptist Church. Uh, this trip has impacted me. Um, I had a, uh, the first day, I had a couple of anxiety attacks and then I prayed about it and God took them uh, completely away and I'm really happy about that. Um, for the rest of the trip, I'm hoping that, uh, that God will work through me even more and that I'll have a, a couple more God moments. Oh, I'm having a run back. <laughs> Well, it's about time. Hi, I'm Hope Cameron from First Baptist Church, the Falls. Um, I've learned a lot about myself on this trip. Um, mainly stuff that God's mainly um, confirmed a few things that I've been doubting and questioning. This mission opportunity has impacted my life because God has really shown me um, what my purpose in life is or what it's supposed to be and how I'm supposed to get there. And um, He's just cleared up a lot of doubts and worries for me. So it's in fact, my life that way. Hi, I'm Sheila Howlett Soltesiak. I'm with Heart Lake Baptist Church, and I'm thrilled to be here in the DR. Um, I think there's two things that really impacted me so far. The first is that we hear a lot from people these days that our teens are just really entitled and don't feel that they need to contribute anything to the world. And I'm here with dozens of teens that have totally shown me that that's not the case. Uh, they're hard workers, and they really have uh, a 
depth of caring for the kids that are here. And I think the other thing that I really am loving is the fact that I'm seeing social justice in action right now. Um, that we're part of a group that has chosen uh, the Lighthouse School and partnered with them for years and to become part of a, a systemic flow of fixing what's wrong and I think that that's so important so it's just a real honor to be part of it and I'm really looking forward to seeing uh, what else is coming up for the rest of the week and as life would Life support would say, will be, will be the love in the world. I have the camera run. Oh, what are you doing now? Was that your testimony? Yes. <laughs> I'll say run, run like heck. <laughs> I wish I had the camera on. Do it again, do a replay, would you? Do what? <laughs> Fall down. Why? <laughs> okay, you're on. I don't want to do this, why, why? Why not? I'm not ready, I need to be there tomorrow. Tomorrow, I promise you I'll be ready for sure. Hi, I'm Emma from Harmony Road Baptist Church. And uh, this week, I'm really impacted by um, the way they live here. Like, we have so much and they have like so little and they're so happy and some of us complain at home and it's really different working here and the way they use things and the way they work is really cool and I've really enjoyed myself here and uh, it's been a lot of fun. Hi, I'm Tim from Harmony Road Baptist Church in Oshawa and uh, so far on this trip, I've had a really great time and it's um, it's really opened my eyes and allowed me to see the wonder of God's creation. Uh, all the plants, all the people are all, all around are so beautiful and it's really impacting to know that he made all this. Also, um, it's really really given me a sense of what a community should, should be. All the people here are so kind to each other, there's no hate. And even though they may not be the wealthiest people, they're really wealthy in friendship and uh, they have a good, strong community connection. I really think that uh, I'm going to take that home with me. Hi, I'm Bailey. I'm from HRBC, and um, this is my third missions trip, second time to DR, and I've also been to the Ukraine. And the reason I came back was because I really, I really love it here. I love working with the kids, and I love, uh, I love just being able to help out this community. So that's why I'm here, and I'm having a really great time, and I'm loving serving God. Hello, my name is John Reclavante, and I'm from HRBC, Army Road Baptist Church. And this trip has really impacted me because I've gotten to see a different culture where children are so different from back home and where life is completely different from what I'm used to. And I will never be the same after this. Hi, I'm Chrissy Giesbrecht. I'm from Harmony Road Baptist Church and this is my first short-term mission trip. Um, it's so awesome. The work is so rewarding and being around the community and how welcome they are, it just makes you feel really good in what you're doing. Um, what I was most impacted by on this trip was the way that God really reveals himself through everything. All the stuff that happens that we take for granted at home that we just think is luck or a coincidence isn't really. It's God working and God's working through us all on this trip and that is why we're all here. Thanks. Uh, my name is Jeremy Zavitz. I'm from Harmony Road Baptist Church and uh, this trip has impacted me in uh, different ways but mainly just seeing the contrast between how the uh, poverty-stricken land has all these beautiful trees everywhere and all the beauty around us is really cool. So uh, mainly it's just kind of cool how you see God working in ways like that. Hi, my name is Rachel Moss and I'm from Harmony Road Baptist Church. And what has really impacted me this week is um, seeing all God's beautiful creation and all the um, cute little children around the community. And when we go on community walks, we see how they're so happy and they have so little, but they always love to help us around, help us out when we're around doing um, work, especially at the school. They like to help us uh, lift rocks or anything. And what I've learned this week is just to trust in God that He will provide anything. And just like the money coming on this trip, He provided that. And He'll just give you strength every single day so you're not tired. Hi, I'm Alicia Thompson. I go to Harmony Road Baptist Church. And this mission trip has impacted me the most this week by God just showing himself in everything and showing that there's beauty in everything. Like in amongst all this poverty, there's all these, there's beautiful friendships and a beautiful community and beautiful scenery everywhere. And it's just really showed me that no matter how bad it may seem, you can always look for God and he's always there no matter what. Hi, um, my name's Jeffrey and I'm from uh, Harmony Road Baptist. And on um, this church, uh, this week, um, the trip has changed me a lot um, in uh, just uh, ex like respecting um, the difference between um, cultures and different places. And um, it's uh, made me grow closer with God as um, just like just um, loving what God created and um, knowing
knowing that uh, he's always going to be there and he's always going to have a way out no matter what kind of situation you're in. And, um, all the kids' smiling faces have, have also um, made an impact on me and uh, it just it makes me smile whenever I see them because they're always happy. Hi, I'm Rebecca Chant. I'm from Harmony Row Baptist Church. And this week, I've really learned that uh, we are on this earth to serve God. And this experience has really made me think about um, what we should be doing with our lives and that serving people like this is serving God. And I really feel called to serve God and I'm willing to do whatever He's asking me to do. Hi, I'm Mark Hodnot from Harmony Road Baptist Church. And the way God has impacted me on this trip is just uh, seeing the difference uh, in the community since the trip two years ago. It's improved a lot and uh, there's just uh, such great improvement that I have noticed in the past two years and I'm sure there's lots that I haven't noticed and that's just really cool. Hi, my name is Natalie Chant and I'm from Harmony Road Baptist Church. I've had a great time in the DR here so far and it's just changed my life in so many ways. I've seen so much poverty here and the people have so little but yet they're so, they're so friendly and content and it's just, it's so amazing. And I've grown spiritually too because I've just had time to do my devotions every day and it's just been amazing to have that free time just to spend with God and I've seen His beauty through His nature and the people here and it's really opened the eyes of my heart and it's really changed my life and impacted me and I'm so thankful that I could have the opportunity to come here. Hi, my name is Kayla Huntington and I'm from Harmony Road Baptist Church. Um, through this mission trip I feel that I've been brought closer in a relationship with God in that and it's been like so much fun being able to work here and see the kids and that. It's been a great experience. Hey, what's your name, amigo? Leonardo Santiago Glenn. And who have you been helping here today? And what does it mean for you to have all these teams come here to the Dominican to help you? I feel good. I feel like the kids get the job done. A team here help everything. They help the kitchen. They take they take turns doing helping everything. Okay, thank you, Leonardo. Hi, my name's Wanda, and I'm from Harmony Road Baptist Church. This is my first mission, and I'm finding it really interesting. It's so well organized. So there's so much to see and lots to do, and I'm. I guess I'm really impressed with the way that this team is um, ministering by showing what they're doing through their works to the community that's around here. And I know it's hopefully going to be a benefit to them and a benefit to, to all of us that uh, are here. So it's a great trip and I'd do it again. Hi, Stephen Millage. I'm from Harmony Road Baptist Church in Oshawa. Um, this trip, it's impacted my life. Uh, new outlook on everything, you know, with the poverty and all that. It's uh, Quite different. God's uh, impacted me that I've, I've uh, led quite a, a rich life so far. He's blessed me quite quite well, so I'm very grateful for that.
Sandra and I'm from Meadow Green Academy. Aside from finding a tarantula in my suitcase last night, what has really impacted me um, being on this trip is just seeing the people in the community and um, coming from the culture that we come from where, where everything is so about the materialistic things and um, the scripture that says that having nothing yet possessing everything in Christ and I just see how much these people here possess and it really has changed my heart and I see the heart of God and I feel closer to God than I have ever before. Hey, I'm Jamar Adam Thompson and I'm with the Meadow Green Academy School and I'm in grade 8 and this has been so far the best trip of my life. I've learned so much about myself and about like other friends and the poor people and it's really been a humbling experience. I've learned to cast away all my troubles and just have fun and with friends and just live it up because life's too short. Hi, I'm Taylor Stacy from First Baptist Church in the Falls. Before going on this trip, God was trying to show me some things that he wanted me to do. And after going on this trip, he has confirmed that he wants me to do these things. And I'm just so glad that I came on this trip. I have no regrets at all. And I just want to thank everyone from the First Baptist Church for supporting me. Thank you. Hi, I'm Diane Stoddard from Glen Acres Church in Waterloo. And uh, it's really neat to be here in the Dominican with these kids, uh, seeing a, a different part of the world and a different uh, culture. And I have been so very impressed by how hard these kids have worked. Uh, all day they've shoveled and toiled and pushed dirt and pulled dirt and uh, rolled rocks and uh, they've just done a super job. So that's my story. Hey everyone, it's Riley from Mimical Baptist Church. And this church is just, or this trip has just really helped me return my faith and realize that I need to become a leader now. That I'm, it's my second time here and I really feel called to lead. Hi, I'm Jeremy. Uh, I'm from Heart Lake Baptist Church and what I really love about this trip is uh, the reminder of how much God and Jesus love us. And uh, yeah, it's very different from the first time I came. Hi, I'm Jeremy Randissing and uh, this is my second uh, mission trip to the DR. Uh, what always blows me away and what always impacts me the most is the fellowship that I share with the people uh, in my cabin and uh, that are on the team. Um, yeah, that's uh, my favorite part, and I love the worship, and I love being down here and helping uh, people come closer to God. Hi, my name is Christina, and I'm from Mimico Baptist Church. It has been a great, great week to spend some time alone with God and to work alongside with fellow Christians. And it's exciting to see our next generation profess their own faith. Uh, it's amazing uh, to see what God has done and is doing in this community and be part of it. And it's exciting, it's amazing to see what God has done and is doing in this community and be part of it. Uh, oh, I'm almost that was perfect. Done. That was perfect. I'm almost done. I'm just last two words. Be part of it, not be part with it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So again? Yeah. Okay. Hi, it's Christina from um, God. <laughs> <laughs> this is good, I love it. <laughs> Don't put that in the video. Hope, are you watching this? No, please don't. <laughs> We're on the third take now. We're on the third take already. My name is Gina and I'm from Lauren Park. And um, something this week has done for me is just really refreshed my faith in God. Just walking around seeing everything that has already been done here and everything that um, the community is doing to improve it. Um, also just happy, how happy everyone here is, even though they don't have a lot of stuff, has really um, shown me God's love and how important it is. Hi, um, my name is Charlotte. I'm from Lauren Park Baptist. Um, so far this week, I've learned so much. I, but mostly, I've learned that here in North America, we take everything for granted, and everything is so materialistic. Like the people here, they barely have anything, and they're probably the happiest people I've seen. Um, I even thought that I'd go crazy without my iPod this week, but I'm fine <laughs> right now. Um, so yeah, I just, I have learned so much from this trip and I know I'll continue to grow. Um. Hi, my name is Chelsea Dixon and I'm from Lauren Park Baptist Church and what has impacted me the most this trip is all the poverty that there is in the Dominican. It made me realize like not to take everything for granted back home and that they, even though they have nothing, they are so happy, so friendly and they are pretty much one of the most like enthusiastic people I know about God. We went to the service on Thursday and they were just like throwing their hands up 
and so singing so loud and it made me realize that people back home need to be more enthusiastic about God and that uh, not take everything else for granted as well. I'm Barb, I'm from Lorne Park and uh, for this trip I think one of the things that God has taught me the most is just um, pouring myself out for Him, um, not relying on myself to do things that um, I need to do for me but to see how I can serve others by um, doing more than I think I'm able to and um, that's been something that I've learned from the beginning um, from starting to fundraise and helping to lead the team through to working this week and I just um, look forward to what else God is going to teach me through the rest of this trip and seeing how God has changed the lives of the students here. My name is Laura Beth, I'm from Lauren Park and this week has really taught me that uh, God works in all places and all people. He's everywhere, not just in Canada. Hi, I'm Brianne Leslie. I came from Lauren Park Baptist Church to the DR and one thing that I really learned and I kind of knew before but didn't really see was that uh, God has no limits and His love uh, reaches everywhere and I really saw that during the Wednesday night church service when we were uh, wor wor worshiping with um, uh, other Spanish people and we were often singing the same songs but they were singing in they, their language and we were saying it in our language. So I learned that um, we can all worship together and still um, be loved by God. My name is Adrian Karismanis. I'm from Lauren Park the Baptist Church. Uh, this week I've learned a lot of things, one of them being um, how different poverty can be in Canada versus other countries and how much they actually need a lot more help. Hi, I'm Rachel and I'm from Lauren Park. Uh, this week what amazed me was um, at church I felt God's presence and I could see God just pouring out of the people. Um, his love uh, here is so much more evident to me, I believe, than back home. I think the people here are more passionate and more closer to God. And that amazes me because of uh, how we depend on all our stuff, all the things that we have, our materials, our jobs, our money. But here they don't have this stuff, so they have more time or they have uh, the ability to be closer and to uh, depend on God and that really amazes me and it really um, affects me. Natural and creamy. Yeah, mix it, mix it. Is that wisdom from the spiritual leader? <laughs> That's right. That's I'm right. Green. See, this is good. Peanut butter is peanut butter is, is God's gift to us. Hi, I'm Rob Cameron from First Baptist Church in Smith Falls. This is my second time in the Dominican Republic. This trip, God has really shown me that uh, the, the people in the Dominican have such a genuine love and they show Christ's love in such a special way and I realize how much more we need to show Christ's love in Canada. They're so willing to sh uh, help people and just allow God's Spirit to move through them in any situation and I realize that, uh, that we need to be challenged more on showing God's love to the people in Canada. My name is Caitlin Hall. I go to Mimico Baptist Church. This trip has really um, made me grow as a Christian and really impacted my life. Hi, my name is Laurel. I go to Mimico Baptist Church and this trip has really humbled me. It's shown me so many things about um, different communities and different ethnicities and it's, it's so amazing to be here. I've learned more about rebar than I'm ever going to need in my entire life <laughs> and cement mixing and it's just been a really great trip and an amazing experience. Hi, I'm Alex from Mimico Baptist Church and I just wanted to talk about how this trip has really affected my life and definitely for the better. Um, it's such an amazing experience to be here in a new environment and it's just you're able to bond with so many people on different levels and everyone's just there for you at all times and it's really a good growing experience. Hey, I'm Tim Stoddard from Glencrest Baptist Church and although I'm struggling with the heat, I'm happy to be here and helping out people that aren't as fortunate as me. Hi, my name is Terence Francois and I go to Mimico Baptist Church in Toronto. This is my second mission trip here in, the, in Los Alcarizos and it's honestly one of the greatest experiences of my life. You, it's just amazing how you see fellow Christians working together in this community to help benefit the community but also at the same time we're learning from the Dominicans here and I highly suggest this trip to anyone who wants to take their spiritual faith to the next level. Thank you. Hi, my name is Dela. I'm from Mimico Baptist Church and this trip has impacted me by showing um, me a different perspective of the world and making me a lot more grateful for what I have. 
Hey, I'm Jack. Uh, I'm, in, I'm from Heart Lake. Uh, I'm loving uh, doing the work we're doing here. I've learned a bunch of skills. Uh, I've had, yeah, thanks for letting me come. I'm Jesse Sanderson from Mimical Baptist Church. This is my first time on the uh, DR trip, and I'd just like to say that I've never seen so much poverty in one area, and I think this is an experience that everyone should have. I'm Brian Stoddard, and I'm from Glen Acres Baptist Church in Waterloo, Ontario. And what's really impacting me is to see the people here, the conditions they live in, and how satisfied they are with what God has provided them and how it should change my perspective in my own life. Uh, I'm Innocent uh, from uh, Glen Acres Baptist Church in Ontario. And then, um, what's impacting me about this trip is to see the community and where I'm from is just the same thing. And it really makes me have to happy just to help them. Thank you. Hi, I'm Daryl Stoddard. I'm from Glen Acres Baptist Church in Waterloo. And uh, it's, it's amazing to see what Care Force has done for this community, and it's great to be a part of it. Hi, I'm Lindsay Thresh. Uh, I'm from Glen Acres Baptist Church. And uh, yeah. I just have learned that we have so much to learn from the, the Dominicans and how appreciative they are of everything that they have. Even though we have so little, we have so much um, to be thankful for, and we're not nearly as thankful as as they are, so just something I've learned over this week. Hola, my name is Darlene Dobson and I am from First Baptist Church in Smith Falls, Ontario. Um, we're down here in uh, the Dominican Republic on a mission trip. We have got a group of about 61, 62 individuals with us from six different churches in Ontario, Toronto, Ottawa area. Um, this has been an amazing experience for myself personally to see a transition in a lot of the children uh, we brought down here and the leaders also to be the hands and the feet of Christ and the transition in these young people has been amazing. Everybody has come together in one great big happy family where we're gelling. The, the hearts and the eyes and the ears of these young people are being opened not just to their sur surroundings down here but as to what, what, what they're going to do with this experience when they come back home. Um, where, where this is going to take them, where their lives are going to go from here, what calling does God have on their lives. And uh, we just continue to pray for each and every one of these young people that uh, they will go forward in the strength and the capacity that Christ is calling them. It's, uh, it's just, it's, it's amazing. And myself, the transition for me to watch these young people and uh, God has given me the strength to be a leader down here that has just brought so much peace and joy into my own life that it's amazing. And when I do continue to come back home, I, I just feel that that I have so much more to offer. He's, he's really opened up my eyes even more than, than, than I can imagine. Hi everybody, this is Christian Santiago from the beautiful Dominican Republic. This is nice here. Today is our last day of work and um, I just want to tell you guys um, how much fun we have had and how much the Lord has blessed us this week with the CBOQ team. And I just want to encourage you guys to keep helping these kids to come here. It's a wonderful experience for them. It's a wonderful testimony for the community of Los Arcarizos here at the Lighthouse School. Thank you. This is uh, Rod and Jen, and we've been uh, the DR coordinators for this trip. And we have just been completely blessed by the amount of work and, and the community of this uh, group this year. And it has been absolutely amazing to see how much uh, God is doing in and through these kids and how much they've accomplished in such a short period of time. Uh, here at the Lighthouse Project, at the various uh, construction sites, but even beyond that, and what God is doing in the community of the kids as they uh, connect from uh, six different churches for the first time, uh, work together in team, and uh, it's just been an amazing experience. We've been extremely blessed by that. So we want to thank you guys uh, for all the work you've done. It's been really great getting to know each and every one of you and just seeing your passion to serve God and give it all you've got, and we are just so proud to be working alongside of you and our prayer is that you will continue the work that God has been doing in your lives, bring it back to your family, bring it back to your church and just love God and love others. Thanks for allowing us to journey with you on this March break. My name is Rachel Small. I'm from First Baptist Church. 
and this week has been amazing. I've seen so many different things that I never expected to see, like the state of the roads, the state of the river, and the state of the homes. And God showed me so much more than I expected him to. I think I'm completely different now because I'm not taking things for granted anymore. Hi, my name is Joanne Very Canical, and I'm from Heart Lake Baptist Church. Uh, this trip has taught me a lot about being humble and about community and uh, really getting together um, to, for a common purpose. I've also learned a lot about um, that your purpose in life isn't always as clear as it may seem to be. Hi, I'm Shay Miranda. I'm here with Lauren Park Baptist Church. This experience has been incredible. It's opened my eyes so much. It's made me realize how much we all have and how much we take it for granted. And then I see these people on the streets, they have almost nothing and some of them look so happy just because they're with family and friends. And it's just, it's really amazing to me that they can be so happy with so little. And it makes me realize that it's, we don't have that. Hey guys, I'm Darren Farrell. I'm from Heart Lake Baptist Church. This trip has changed me uh, because um, it's just a real eye opener. There's uh, a lot of new things that are kind of new to me and all this and I've met a lot of new people and it's just been great. Hi, I'm Brittany. I'm from Heart Lake Baptist Church and this trip has really impacted me with helping me decide what I want to do in life because before this trip I, I was kind of confused. I decided teacher but then that never really worked out. Maybe nurse but I didn't really like that. But um, I'm one step closer because I have realized that I do want to serve people and uh, like we have here with construction and helping these kids and the community walk and everything and it's been so amazing so that's really how this trip has impacted me. Hi my name is Alvin Lau, manager of Youth Ministries at the Canadian Baptist Ontario in Quebec. And so if you have seen uh, your church in, in the Dominican Republic, uh, your students have worked very hard. In fact there have been many things that we've been involved in. You've heard about the satellite school that we are a part of that will actually be named the CBLQ school. And it, with it uh, will be a two-room school that will help educate 119 students. But not only that, we have helped to create uh, the foundation, a basement uh, for a kitchen facility that will be used uh, to feed over 200 students every morning for breakfast. Because as you know, uh, for children to have a healthy meal at the beginning helps them to learn. We've had another group of people who have been working on top of the third floor of a school and they are actually laying the rebar and the foundation for what will become another floor that will help another 150 students uh, come to school here. His education, as we realized, has been a big part in the long-term strategy in Los Acarizos. And so we want to thank you for being a partner in that. Whether you're a parent who's been sacrificing a lot for your child to be here, whether you've been a group leader who's sacrificed your vacation time and your work time to be here, for the many congregate members who have been back home, not only helping with fundraising efforts, but also dutifully and faithfully been praying for your group. Uh, a lot of things have been coming out. I'm sure you'll be hearing the stories uh, for the next few weeks. And as they begin to dream and seeing where God is taking them, as we have challenged them to begin to, to ask the question, where are you working, God? And how do you want me to be involved? As they begin to dream and to see and to take that directive from God himself, uh, we want you to support them, to see where that will lead them. And hopefully, wherever they lead them, we trust that you will walk alongside them every step of the way. So blessings to you as you continue to help these students follow Jesus as he has called them to follow. I know that you guys have worked a lot to be able to be here uh, building this school. And I'm, I'm going to keep praying so God may keep blessing you guys and that uh, the people that are still are missing and uh, that God uh, give you uh, whatever reward you the way that he knows how. And I'm going to be praying for the next teams that are going to come here and are going to be able to finish this school for us. Gracias. Thank you very much. Dear God, I thank you for what we've been able to do here this week. And I know what we've accomplished could not have been done without you, Lord. Um, I pray for every student who comes here that they would um, know that this was built out of love for you, God. And I pray that their education, Lord, would just help them um, to get a job and they would use that uh, job to glorify you in everything that they do. Lord, thank you for this awesome opportunity that we've had to help this community. And Lord God. 
Thank you for showing us that you are stronger, Lord. Yeah. Um, just in times when we all felt like we were about to fall over in just pure exhaustion, Lord, you gave us strength. Uh, and you just bonded us together over this uh, basement, Lord. I mean, our sweat, most of our blood, <laughs> uh, some tears have been poured into this basement, Lord. And uh, just thank you for the fellowship that it has uh, brought in among this group. I just pray that you bless this place, bless the hands that have worked on it, and bless the people who are going to use this, and continue to bless those who are going to work on it, Lord. I just pray this in your beautiful name. Amen. The kitchen area, some walls went up there, and the basement is below it. It'll be an all-purpose, multi-purpose room. And the rebar project, doing a whole roof and rebar. Circle of prayer, everyone is praying out loud together facing the community. We just want to uh, thank you guys. And I feel like I'm yelling at you this close so they can hear me. I'm not yelling at you. Uh, I want, we want to thank you because this week we've come here and we've worked and we've served uh, and you've served us. And you've uh, fed us and allowed us to, to work as much as we can. And as we leave this place, we will pray for you as you serve the next Sunday. We pray that you may live a life worthy of the Lord. May the Lord bless you and take good care of you. Que el Señor le bendiga y le guarde. May the Lord smile on you and be gracious to you. Que el Señor le sonría y, y sea bueno con ustedes. May the Lord look upon you with favor. Que el Señor los mire a ustedes con favor. And give you his peace. Y le dé la paz. Amen. Hi, I'm Ron Ferguson, the old camera guy from the DR. And as I sit here reflecting and doing the editing and the production of the DVD, I get to think about what all really impacted me in the DR. And I think the thing that most impacted me was the opportunity that I had to be with 64 other people plus all of the teams and the leaders from the Dominican who helped us. And the thing that touched me most was the day that I got to be at the church without walls that has only a wall now, as we worked with the, the children there and uh, had an afternoon of fun with them. I had the accidental opportunity to be giving a cup of cold water in Jesus' name, and that really brought ministry and mission together for me. And along with being there with the teens from Canada and seeing their lives changed, I saw the relief that water brought to the children in that play area. And I'm thankful to Christian Santiago and the Lighthouse School Project and Care Force International and CBOQ Youth who work as a team to bring this living water to the people of Los Alcarizos. They bring the water that is free from that well, and they also bring the spiritual water of the message of Jesus Christ to the people of Los Alcarizos. They do it with love and actions. Thank you.